So, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and how you got started as a director? Well, I always wanted to tell stories. Ever since I was a little girl, I would copy people's conversations on the bus in my journal and write it all down and sort of look at it as dialogue. And I went, I want to be a filmmaker. This is what I want to do. I want people to plug into my brain and see what I see and feel what I feel. And so that was sort of the impetus. To what are the most exciting projects for you to work on and why? Well, there's a couple of factors. One, putting myself in a situation I've never been in before. Shooting a dance sequence in the rain with people who aren't dancers. For me, the most important pieces of work are ones in which I can actually help people. If I can capture something so specific and human, if I can do that, that's the most kind of exciting. What is it about short films that you like better than features? Well, I think every story, every question, every theme that I am interested in, or any real story, has a certain, um, has the perfect expression. Hip Hop Mom is a small idea meant for people to see on the internet. The, the brilliance of a short, even though it's as, it's as much work as doing a feature film, is that uh, you can sort of concentrate on the skills you're honing. It's tapping into what I'm feeling right now, and that feels good. It's important to be able to express yourself, to have confidence to continue doing what you're doing, and the validation of something like the Women's Film Festival accepting the film, it's like, oh, I'm on the right track. It's kind of like uh, snacking in between meals, I guess. It keeps you in. How do you stay creatively inspired in day-to-day -day life? I am a huge fan of stuff. Like I listen to music, I go to see live shows, and I get my heart broken and I get my hopes up. All that stuff keeps me jazzed. Um, I try to stay in the present. I write every single day. So that immediately connects me to my journey, I guess. Being a Canadian independent filmmaker, what is your view on the industry? Um, how has it changed and affected you? Capitalism? <laughs> is crushing us even more in terms of the arts. Um, there are fewer distribution methods that are wide reaching for the first time filmmaker. Yeah, you can stream your film on YouTube and hope somebody finds it, but for a distributor to take a risk on a film with no stars, it's harder. So I, I'm concerned about new voices. I am still being asked to speak on panels about gender and about race. I, I think we've evolved. The landscape of the storytellers has not changed as much as the technology has changed. Um, and maybe we need to catch up a little bit. How do you feel about being a female in the film industry? I'm a female in the film industry, am I? <laughs> I mean, it is what it is. I can't change that. I see the mere presence of me on a set as agitation, as a way of changing things. I think it's a good thing, because it's, it's, it messes people up in terms of what they, what they see when they hear the word director. Uh, and what they think, what that label means, the director. It's not just the guy with the beard and the hat. It's me. <laughs> um, what advice would you give to young directors who are just starting out in the industry? I think one of the most important things is to be on a set. Get a huge line of credit. Go take acting lessons. Put yourself in the place of every... Everybody you're going to direct, you should at least have some idea how to communicate to them in their job. Um, that's really important, or else you're, you're walking around not speaking the same language as people. And if you don't have the time to actually just be a director and a writer and writing every day, then you're not practicing. It takes a lot of courage to go, okay, I'm just going to bank everything in my career. But if, if, it's what, if it's your calling, then you have to give yourself time to do that. So if you never had the opportunity to work in film, um, where do you think you would be right now? Uh, I'd probably be, like, I'd probably try to start some self-help cult. 
I mean, I even I jokingly say this, but if all technology got wiped off the planet, if we could no longer record stories, I'd be standing at the bus stop, acting it out for you with puppets. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mina Shum. Uh, I'm going to be talking after my film Hip Hop Mom at the Van City Theatre, March 11th, 6 p.m.